What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I literally just got back from EDC Las Vegas and uh, my brother just got his new wheels in as well, so let's go check it out. That is dude playing. Everything is new to me. Then it's too sad. Damn. You excited? How you just got a shrug? You've been waiting like months for these. Um, for whoever's new to the channel, uh, my brother actually has a 2016 Varus WRX. Like, look how clean this is. I think it's the only one in Wichita as well. I'll show you the front. But look at that. Man. Never going to car again. Fuck you, Andrew. <laughs> so Brian, originally he wanted white wheels for this car, but it was it's what? Another two months. Yeah, it was like back ordered for another two months, so didn't want to wait that long. So we got bronze. And my personal opinion, I actually think it's gonna look pretty clean. I would probably prefer white, but here they are. They're the work, what are they called? D9Rs? Damn. Look at these. Uh, work Emotion D9Rs. What do you guys think? I think they're gonna look pretty good. His setup is a squared setup, so 18 by nine and a half plus 30, right? Right? That's what I said. Okay, yeah. So 18, nine and a half plus 30, if anyone's wondering. Made in Japan. Dang, this dude already put on the work, the work uh, license plate border. <laughs> I know, but you were quick to put that on. And update on my car. Uh, engine's still blown, obviously. Uh, I talked to Ray from Fusion Works Racing, and we got an estimate of about eight, eight nine thousand and yeah after after tuning and everything it's gonna be about eight nine thousand just to fix or get it to where it was hopefully it'll be done in maybe four months but if i'm hoping like four like four months but who knows <sighs> so about four to six weeks to look at the car and then to fix the car is going to be another two months so we'll see how that goes but first i need to get a trailer i need to find a trailer and i need to find someone with a truck that could take the car to the shop so what did you say thom <laughs> you mean thom thombo <laughs> I hope, he, I hope he watches this video. And if you guys didn't know either, this car is bagged. Look at that clean ass setup. Like he wired and cut everything to where you can't see anything. Look at that trunk setup. Are you planning on getting another compressor at all? Or are you just gonna keep it as this? No. If you guys don't know, he is running a airlift 3P um, performance system or blah, 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 blah. I can't talk right now I'm eating too chicken curry and rice I'm gonna take a fat nap after I'm done eating all right so rule of thumb is once you get the car in all four jacks you got to shake the car and make sure that it's sturdy and it's not gonna fall on you so we should do that should be good Ugh. Yeah, it's not moving at all. All right, then just got all the lug nuts off. And so Firestone, when they mounted my tires the first time, um, they did some really bad shit. If I can't cuss, cut this out, but um, I'm going to show you what they did to my Mika. And uh, this was about six months ago, about a year, half a year ago. Uh, the other week I found out found this out and I was like they probably wouldn't do anything anyway so if someone works at Firestone 
you know, and wants to like apologize, you know, that'd be cool. But anyways, so they cross-threaded two of my lugs, or my, yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna go with it, I'm fucking tired. But yeah, here's one. I broke that one yesterday trying to take the, uh, put the wheel back on, and that's cool. And then if you see this one, I'll show you here in a bit. That one's done as well. Uh, these are okay, but still, like, what the heck. And then this one got cross-threaded, and I just broke this one. Uh, so that's cool. That's awesome, you know, your boy. Luckily, those are my spacers and not actually my hub. Because if that was my hub, I'd, I'd have to get three new ones. Uh, kind of spoiled it, but yeah. But here's the next one. That one's cross-threaded, not as bad, but it was still cross-threaded. I didn't use a breaker bar the whole time to take that one off. And then the last one was okay. This one's the only okay one. Uh, so what they basically did if, so it was, I was the last, I was the last appointment and I guess they rushed and they didn't hand tighten them first is what you're supposed to do and then use a uh, either a bre breaker bar or something like that to torque it down but they just they have air compressed tools so they just went full ham put that that shit in there and did that but yeah it's kind of fucked up we'll see because he seemed like a cool guy he he did just get the guy was in the hospital and I felt really bad for him too. But now that he fucked up my car, I don't feel bad anymore. I, so he, he, he got out of the hospital because so, someone backed a truck into him while he was working at Firestone. But yeah, which sounds bad that I said that, but no one fucks with me, cop. But yeah, on that, um, I'll be back. I'm gonna take off the wheels now and then take off the spacers. Hey dad, say hi. Oh, you're back. You like the wheels back? Ah, uh, yeah. I kind of regret selling my wheels, but fuck it. All right, so we're putting on Brian's wheels right now, and a really important thing when you're putting on aftermarket wheels is that they usually do have a different hub-centric ring size. So this right here, let me pull up the wheel. Okay, so this ring should go in right here. And then this should perfectly match the ring size on the rotor right here so that's a uh, one important thing that um, you should know before putting on aftermarket wheels so let's go ahead and put these on damn damn that's nice it can go lower though it's aired out. I know. That's what I'm saying. You gotta readjust your struts eventually. If you want it to touch the ground. Air out one more time for me for the vlog. Oh, I forgot you have Bluetooth. Must be nice. Damn. What do you guys think? I'm supposed to do that. Here's a better look at the front. Mm. Look at this cheater. Look at that wheel gap. Oh shit, what the hell? Turn. You're good. Slow. Keep going, you're good. Oh my god, he barely clears our driveway. Say what's up, bro. Hey, what's going on, y'all? <laughs> I'm trying to get like that. <laughs> Dang, who's this? What the heck? <laughs> what up, bro? <laughs> what are you doing? 
Are you about to hit the gym? Yeah. Do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh shit, it's already recording. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I left off, but um, I just like fell asleep. I fell asleep. Um, and yeah, today's like the next day. Well, actually, it's like two days from now because it's actually midnight now, as you can see right there. But um, I've completely forgot to finish the vlog. I'm sorry, guys. But um, yeah, uh, if you guys like Brian's Wheels, make sure you like the video. Um, definitely a lot more things coming. We got a surprise coming pretty soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that notification button just to um, get notified when we upload. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I, I'm still tired from Vegas. Like, I'm still trying to recover. Like, EDC messed up my sleeping schedule and all that stuff. So, I'm trying to get back on track. School's over, so definitely um, a lot more content coming out. And yeah. I'm probably going to start edit editing this vlog right now. But yeah, um... I don't know what else to say. You got anything to say, Kuda? If you guys haven't met my dog, Kuda, yet. This is, this is my cutie pie. Okay. I'll go ahead and start editing this vlog for you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.